Hello guys, come on in. We have so much here for us to talk about and to do. So come on in, look at all my junk. I have stuff everywhere that we're gonna use today for some ATC cards. So join me. This is Deb with Art and Grace. So if you're new to me, thank you for watching. If you'll let me know that you watched, I'll be able to uh, comment back and say thank you. Of course, many of you will be repeat, but say hi anyway. Get that turned down so I can see comments. Hi, Liz. Hi, Sydney. Hope your days are going good. Happy Friday. We all made it to Friday in this terrible heat we've got. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Brookie. Hi, Brenda. Yes, VIP in the house. Hi, Mitzi. Glad y'all are here. Hopefully we can get this sprinkled out to more people. Thank you, Brenda. I appreciate you guys. Hi, Cheryl. How are you today? You know, I, I keep forgetting to check into rules because I want to share it out, but then I forget where I can share it. So I trust you guys. I know some of y'all will know, but let's get going. I'm excited to show you all that I've got set out here and ways to use things in a new way. Did you guys see my little, I call it Barbie inspired um, card that I made yesterday. So um, super fun and easy and you just use whatever you have. You don't have to go buy anything for these ATC cards. This is a playing card from Dollar Tree. I don't love these because they have them, they're cut and you can buy cards obviously that are not cut but I was just in a hurry to get some, so I ran up there and got these. Um, and they're cute on the back. I love the Hard Rock Motel, and I'm going to leave that on the back. I think they're cute. But ATCs are artist trading cards. They're two and a half by three and a half, which is what size a regular playing card is, which makes these great to use um, if you're wanting to kind of follow the ATC guidelines. Thank you, Leveda, for the stars. Hello, hello. Thank you for sprinkling me out, guys. Fun music, yeah. Uh, thank you, Vicki. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, Mitzi. Spreading the blessings, that's right. Hi, Karina. Thank you, Deb. Good to see you. Hi, Kim. Hi, Lori. Happy Friday to you. Oh, your little girls, your little grand girls would love making these cards, Lori. Just super easy. Give them some um, playing cards and then whatever embellishments you have. So I pulled out scrapbook paper and things that I have kept from past projects. So I try not to keep too, too much because I have had tubs of paper before. So I kind of will keep certain things that I really like and, you know, just keep it in a pile, go through it when I'm fixing to do a project. Even your brown craft paper can be used. Um, and that way you don't get overwhelmed with just way too much stuff. Look how cute that one is. So I'm going to pull out a couple of things out of this stack. I don't think anything else in there appeals to me today. And then, hello, you're in the waiting room. Oh, well, thanks for tun tuning me in, Patty. Appreciate it. I love the back of this. This is a spring paper out of a pack. But the back is so cute with the stripe. So I'll probably just cut a piece of this. Um, and then move this big sheet out of the way. Hey, Renny, you've never seen? Yes, she is. Everybody should go join that. It's only $10, and she will teach you everything you need to know. I'm going to teach it in my group, also in my private group, but I'm sure Chris has a lot more experience um, doing ATCs, and, you know, I do them like once a year, twice a year, or something like that. So I highly recommend her class. I think whenever you can learn a new technique for $10, go for it. You know, that's a great price. And sounds like it's going to be a pretty in-depth course. Because I believe I saw it was three hours. So that will teach you a lot. Okay, so I'm going to move this one aside. I love this. So today I've, I've been doing a lot of pink, as you can see. And this is kind of more of an official ATC because it is the proper size and everything. However, this can be an ATC. This can, you know, there's, you do not have to stick to the rules of two and a half by three and a half. 
you can make these any size you want. So they can be a tag on a gift, they could be the little gift itself, like an ornament, or it can be an ATC to swap, which if you just tuned in, that's artist trading card, and people will swap these. Hey Phyllis, hi Trisha, VIP in the house. Brenda, uh, Chris Hunter is gonna do an ATC course and I was just saying, I think it would be really fun to take because she'll be teaching all the things, you know, more than I'm going to go into. I don't like to pull out all of my supplies. I like to kind of keep it somewhat simple. And I'm guessing that she's going to do more than I will. Now, this is a little golden book that somebody, or actually not golden, Benden. Somebody sent me this for Happy Mail. I'm guessing she got it at Dollar Tree or somewhere. Um, and she said, use this in your mixed media. So I'm going to. And I just flipped through here a minute ago and thought, well, that's cute. I'll use this little mousse. We'll do a little Christmas ATC using this mousse. So I do hate to tear up a book, but she bought it for that purpose. And probably it was a dollar or maybe three for a dollar or something. So um, it's not going to go to waste. We're going to use it. So I'm going to I uh, don't know if I want to cut. You can, you know, a lot of people tear or they'll use a pen, but you, there's no reason you can't cut. I'm going to kind of cut so it's a little neater and just cut around this mousse, not perfectly, but just kind of, I just really need the mousse head. I don't want to show him wearing a robe. I don't think. I'm going to see. I think I'm just going to cut like this. Save that because it's got something else you might want to use. Yes. How are y'all doing on this Friday? Glad you're here with me. I've had so much fun this whole month doing Christmas in July that I'm not ready for it to stop. However, I think Monday is, is Monday the 31st. Um, so next week we will get on with more things. I'm probably going to go into fall. But if you guys are wanting to see anything summer, you better tell me now, because I'm ready to move on. I have a lot to get done, so I kind of got to get going. Hey, VIPs, I see some of y'all here today, so I wanted to tell you, did you see what I put in the group this morning? It is going to be really helpful. So let me know if you saw it. Okay, so we got a cute little mousse cut out. I don't, I don't really want him wearing pajamas. I'm going to cut a little more so that you really can't tell what he's wearing there. Okay, he will be cute on a dark background. So let's just cut out some of this paper. You did good, Phyllis. So if you haven't seen it yet, I have a calendar with all of the things that I've created. So here's the color theme we're going with so far. We've got lots of black and white. We've got that pop of color. Um, so I have a photo. It's a calendar with a photo of everything I've done this month, whether it's on my page, in a private group, wherever. And then if you press on the photo, it will take you to the video. So that way, if you're wanting to do something you saw me do and you're having trouble finding it, that will take you right to it. So I'll start doing that every month for you guys and that will, because it's hard to keep up. You know, we have so many, I, I've come up with all these ideas and many of you are only able to do this on the weekends. So by the time the weekend rolls around, you're like, wait, where did she do that? Was it on her page? Was it in the group? I, I don't know where it is. So that will be easy peasy to find. Okay cut off that little word. So this is all I do at first. It's just kind of gather what I want to use. You can use fabric. There is no reason. Like mixed media kind of things. Use whatever you want to use. I use fabric, ribbon, whatever. So I'm going to cut a piece of that. So as you see, we're kind of getting the items we want to build it up with. This is a little scrapbook paper I got from Timu. So I thought I'd just flip through here and see what they have. Lots of writing, postcard looking things. I kind of saw something way at the back. 
kind of like that stamp, but... Oh, I like that. So the Post Office Express Delivery is cute. I'm going to cut that out. It's not quite red, but that's okay. It's kind of a burgundy. I think it'll work. And if you don't have a water pen, I do have water pens, but I find that the brush works just as good just grabbing a paintbrush. Oh, Lori, good to see you too. How are you today? You guys let me know how your Friday is. Iris, I haven't seen you in a minute. How are you? You guys, fill me in on how you're doing. Yeah, I just get quite a bit of water, go back and forth. Get it pretty saturated. And then you should be able to, you know, use your fingers, just kind of crease it a little bit and then tear it. And that gives you that nice kind of rough edge. You're great off of work. Awesome. I was watching Hummingbird Paintery earlier, Tanya, and she was off today. And I know how that feels. It is the best feeling when you typically work on Friday and you're off. Get an extra day in your weekend, which we all need. I don't know why weekends don't include Monday. <laughs> so we all have that extra day. That's okay. I'm always so ready to be back on here by Monday. So I might use that little stamp because I think it's just cute, like, you know, express. And okay, okay, okay. I'm going to use a piece of this just to show you that you can use as something as simple as brown craft paper. So if you buy this stuff to wrap presents or for shipping, you can use this too. Anything works. You, you literally can make art out of anything. I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to do an actual card, and then I was going to show you, if you haven't seen my other videos about mixed media, save your tags, good tags. This is like really thick and nice. This is some kind of little card we got in the mail, in an envelope, <clears throat> junk mail, of course, but I don't know if you can tell, but it is super hard and, and like nice cardboard. This will make a great mixed media card, so we'll do something on this in a minute. So first thing I do is cover this up. You can use um, a glue stick or Mod Podge, whatever you want to use. I told y'all I am going to keep the back because I think Hard Rock is a super cute little card. Hey Tanya, I mean Tamara, how are you today? Um, and I can't find my crocodile, so I'm using this, which cuts like leather and stuff, but it'll work, you know. You just want to punch a hole, or I'm going to punch a hole in mine so that I can kind of add a hanger. Some people do not, and they just mail them just like this. So I'm just doing that because I think it's fun, but of course you do not have to. We could even do it this way. So your ATC card does not have to go up and down. Let me take a look at this. Ah! That might be cute. Let's do it this way for something different today. So I'm going to punch a little hole. Okay, so that's out, done and out of the way. What is the packet called? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. Message me. I want to talk to you about it. When you say packet, are you talking about for this maybe? If you are, I can get you a link to it because I don't know of a name or anything. Hot. Oh, it is so hot everywhere. I don't like going to the store either, Vicki, especially in this heat. It really is too hot. Okay, so then we're going to put some hot or some um, glue stick on here and start putting down our papers. So this is purple. It'll dry clear. Um, but again, you can use whatever you have. Let's start with this, putting this on. If it goes off the edge a little bit, I will just sand it off or something. Um, just want to get a background 
for whatever we're going to do. I never go in with a plan. I just put out my supplies and kind of just start working. If you'll put on some music and, um, you know, just let yourself play, you will come up with some great ideas, I promise. You can always look on Pinterest or, you know, people that you know that do these look for inspiration, but truly it will come to you as you just sit and work. I know I want some of that red in here, so. I am going to put some on the back of this too because this is pretty thick fabric so just to be sure it stays down well. You top them with sparkly Mod Podge. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let me punch that hole again before I lose it. Okay. And then let's do something across the top. Put some of this paper across the top, maybe. If you will tear down, you'll avoid that white edge. So see this? That is, you know, from tearing up, but we tore down, so we've got one with a nice edge. I love just getting in here and playing. We can even put some paint on this to make it redder instead of it being kind of muted and that burgundy color. But we'll see. I just start adding and adding until I'm happy with it and then we'll see what we need to do. What if we have him sitting, yeah, like that? Oh, that's cute. Okay, there we go. See what I mean about just put things out? Hey, Tiffany, we are doing an ATC card, an artist trading card, just using some supplies I already have on hand, just showing how easy it is, using what you have. Just want to be sure the edges in particular are good and glued. And I'm going to tuck that right under. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. So see, as you're working with it, your brain is going to go, oh, I know something. You know, you're going to think of things that you can do to it that are cute. So... I'm going to have to take off my mic because I pinned it today so it wouldn't fall off. So I want to, I just ordered something from Timu and got it in. I'll show it to you and we're going to use it on here. Hey Janice, I'm glad y'all are popping in. Okay, hold please one second. I got these in. They're just little tiny Christmas lights on a string and I knew I could use them for some mixed media or card making or something and how cute to drape them across here y'all. Look we could or we if they were you know we could kind of put them in his horns. I kind of like that too. Let's do that. I say horns. Is that antlers? <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we just maybe hot glued them down because I kind of like them like that. So I'm going to do like three on each one. So that's three and this is three. 
and look how many, you know. So Timu is a great resource for little things that you don't see everywhere else you go. Now they may have these at Dollar Tree, but mine didn't. So when I saw them, I ordered them. Timu is currently over two. <laughs> That's the danger. That is the danger. It is really easy to go cray cray on there. So, yeah, you got to set a limit and kind of be careful. Um, grabbing a piece of paper towel. I ordered, when I ordered this hot glue gun, I ordered the small tip. They sent me this one and I didn't notice. And it was like a, several weeks before I used it for the first time. And then I realized, but I didn't, I never sent it back. I just kept it. But I've got to get the small tip. I really need the small tip. Because I'm always trying to just get a dot of this hot glue out. So we're just going to put that down. Cute. Let it kind of let that little green piece of cord or, or whatever kind of curl. I'm glad I remembered these because that is perfect for these. Now, see what I mean? Somebody gave me that little child's book at least a year ago, maybe longer. And it's been up there with my mixed media supplies and I just hadn't had a use for it yet and today it hit me. I'm going to try to use that today. Oh goodness, that was a big dollop. See what I mean? I just really have to break down and get one. Y'all let me know what you're thinking. I'm fixing to look at comments. No, Tina. If you want to do a true ATC, anything two and a half by three and a half. But when I do ATCs with my private group, I, I say anything goes. You can use something large or small. It's just an artist trading card. So what you're doing is you're making some cards up that you can send to somebody. And if they're doing it as well, like in a challenge, then they'll send you one. So really a fun thing to do. You can also just give them to friends and neighbors. I mean, it's just something cute, you know, and that's why I like to put the holes so people can hang them up if they want to kind of enjoy it. Let's see if I can poke that hole back through. Keep losing it. Um, I think it's cute. What do y'all think? You like it? Hi, Katana. Tough fingers. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> it's corded, but works great. Yeah, corded's okay. I'm not going to really take it around. Interchangeable tips. <gasps> I do have a glue pen. It's not like that. I mean, it's not a, I have a glue, it's like a stick. But yes, that, that one would be great. Thank you, Debbie. So glad that you are catching me live. Debbie is a faithful replay watcher. I'm just going to use scissors. You can like sand the sides if you want to. That doesn't matter to me. I'm actually going to leave that kind of larger. Just like that. Okay, so there's kind of our base. Now you can add paint, you can add glitter, you can add. Um, diamond dust. You can add anything you want. I'll go ahead and put the little wire hanger on. I'm just using floral wire uh, from Dollar Tree, but if, you, oh, you know what else is cute? This is too thick, but if you had red wire, how cute would that be? You can use ribbon. You can use anything that you have on hand. Don't go by. Just, 
I think that's part of the challenge for me is making these with things I have. And sometimes I just paint them. I don't even use a lot of embellishments. I just use gesso and paint and and paint. So let's do a little curly cue. through and do another curly cue. Oh, that's adorable already. Now we can take ink. Let's see if I have I pulled out my 25. You know, if you have stamps, these are awful big, but I can still do it. So I'm going to stamp. And you can um, even take some gesso and pop it down here to have a white background. I'm trying to think if this will show up good. Maybe we'll do that. Thanks, Sherry. How are you today? Let's just put down a little gesso, and you can use your finger. I usually use my finger, but that will give it a, you know, it'll show up better with this base. And then if you want to put this somewhere else to kind of mute things down, I do that a lot. Um, so let me just put some here and I'll show you what I mean. So I'll just take it on my finger and then just kind of rub it along the edges like so, especially where things meet, you know, like if there's, or if I just want to mute something down. Um, this card doesn't really call for it in my opinion. I, I think I kind of like it just, just colorful and cute. So probably won't do too much of that, but that's one thing you can use your gesso for. Okay, let me dry that and we'll stamp it. Good. Hi, Cindy. Haven't seen you pop in in a little bit. How are you today? You ladies that have businesses, feel free to, to put your tag, you know, like do the app sign and your business name, and then we can, everybody can come follow you if they're not already. Thanks, Sydney. Your heart stops when I use it. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Tina, I'm glad you're here. Never late. No problem. Okay, we can also add a cute embellishment. I just was looking at this guy, and to make him look even less like we have, like he has um, pajamas on, let's make him a little bow tie. So let's just take, this is just a tiny strip of fabric that I had left from, I think yesterday maybe. So if we just fold it over, pretty sure we can make him a little bow tie. Something like that. in the middle that's still too big my hands are my fingers are, are do I have man hands I feel like they're just too big for some of these projects and then thinking of the best way to secure this might be We'll do a little tiny piece of wire. The Artsy Cottage Art Classes. Awesome, Sherry. So let's gather that in the middle. 
I think the black is a cute little contrast to the red and it brings out the black in the card. Jewelry pliers. Yeah, I've got them too, but you know, look at me using my scissors to cut wire. Uh, I'm not too worried. Bend that wire down and then I'm going to hot glue that down kind of for a makeshift bow tie. There we go. Let's stamp our 25. You can hold them together. Let's see about, yeah, that should work. And this is black ink I'm using. I always recommend, uh, you know, testing it out. See, that's a little too far apart. I'm not going to do them together. I'm going to stamp one and then stamp the other. loving it. I am loving it. And then let me see if we can get this a little redder. This little, I'm trying to think how I want to do that. Maybe, oh, did they, Tina? That would be fun to use then. And it'd be fun to make something like this for family members. And then say, you know, have a little note attached that says this is from mom and dad's playing cards, right? Wouldn't that be sweet? Um, let me think what else was I going to grab? I just was thinking something. What did I say, y'all? Remind me. Oh, I was going to grab some markers. Nothing is handy. I'm not done getting my room set up. So I'm grabbing my bucket of supplies. I've got some little watercolor markers is what I was going to go for. And let's see if I see the red. Let's see if this will add any. Just go over the whole thing instead of trying to avoid the words. And you can get it wet. Yes, that would be so sweet, Tina. And you can do these in batches. Um, that's a really, really smart way to do these because you've got all your stuff out and it's like it doesn't take hardly any extra time, you know what I'm saying? Whether you do one or 20, just pop them all out all at once. And you'll have great, meaningful gift. I mean, you get somebody a coffee mug, they, they might use it that year, and then it's in the trash or Goodwill or whatever. So do something that means something. I don't know if I love covering the letters like I did, but we did it, so... I did it. You may see the lid. I don't know what I did with my lid. Um, I did get out lace in case we wanted to use a little lace. I'm going to blur my eyes and see what I think. Y'all let me know. Give me hearts if you like the lace and no hearts if you don't. So you can add stuff to the bottom. I probably have sorry silk. Let's see if we have any red. I probably don't. I do have chiffon. I'm going to grab a little piece of that and see if we want to use that. My sorry silk isn't really red. It's more off color. I'm going to pull it out just to show you, but it's not quite red. Of 
course we could use green and bring some green into the picture. I don't know, I just like to pull stuff and then play around. Hi Donna, glad you're here. Katana says red, now trace the letters with black. Yes, Tina, good idea, that's what I'll do. Um, using my Micron pen or gold, we could use our gold paint pen and that would be pretty too. Let's try, maybe we'll do black. But that's why it's good to watch people do these and you're going to go oh well if i did it i would do this you know it gives you your brain will think of things that we don't think of or ways to do it better I love when you guys give me ideas and half the time I don't see them until I watch the replay and I'll usually say ah oh, great idea darn it didn't see it did we say no on this hi Nelda that's okay oh is it oh it is sure is thank you whoever said that Thanks, Kim. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. So, let's see. Now, we can definitely use these to tie because it's far enough away that it, it'll look fine. Yeah, that's great. So, just a little strip of the Sari Silk. I get this on Amazon. I do have a list with all of my favorite craft supplies, where I get them and all that, on my Amazon storefront. So, if you just go... To, well, the link down at the bottom that has artgracepaint.com, that's my website, that will get you there. So just go there and go to My Favorite Supplies and then click on Amazon and you'll, you'll see. I have it broken up into Art and Craft Supplies. Come on, come on. Look. Y'all think that's done? Does anybody see something it needs? I think I want to trim out the edges with black. So you can use your, um, you can use paint. It's typically what I use. You, oh yeah, I forgot I had a doily too. Um, I did use a doily. I don't know if you can see this. If you'll watch the replay on this little tag, um, there's doily. I don't know. Can y'all see that? Right here and right up here, I use part of a doily. Um, that's always kind of fun to use. I don't think I need it on this. Also, adding a little star. You know, if you have little cutouts. Look how many I have. So, I've got to use them. So, we can add a little star have so many little supplies out. Let's let's do red. Let's edge it in red instead. Come on, come on. Thank you, Joanne. Somebody got a praise report. I'm going to go back and see cuz I can't tell who. I can only see that Nelda said something. So let's try this red. If we don't like it, we can always go over it with black. But anyway, you can use your ink pads, like, you know, and ink it. You can just use whatever you have. I just like using paint since I do a lot of art, mostly art. And I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges to kind of frame it. So adorable, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 
that step. So was it Andrea? Andrea, let me see. Have a praise report on my son. <gasps> oh my gosh, a million times. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That is, I want to cry. I know you had to have cried. That is a huge answer to prayer. And I, a complete miracle, in my opinion, Andrea. I don't think we give God enough credit, not you, but me, anybody, um, for miracles, how God uses doctors, physicians, surgery, you know, to heal people. And that's such an answer to prayer. Wow. That made my day. That made my day. Let's do a cute little star. I'm trying to decide what color. Oh, and also I'll take a micron pen usually and kind of embellish a little. So let's kind of go around and do some scratchy, scratchy marks to kind of highlight some parts of it. pretty good and then what do we think what are we gonna do with stars what color let's put a couple of stars on it for good measure we can do white with diamond dust oh Andrea absolutely amen thank you Marcia thanks Sherry thanks Debbie I appreciate you guys Listen, I'm telling you, there is so much power in prayer, whatever it is, you know, and he doesn't always answer the way we want. He answers, I mean, he, he's going to do what, what is right, whether we understand it or not, and a lot of times we don't, but when he does give us our answer, you know, he, he does answer it the way we ask. Oh my goodness, I'm just, I have chill bumps. Oh. Thank you, Cindy. You should make some with us. Gold. Oh, I love the gold idea. Let's do gold. So you can paint it. I've got gold. Um, where is my gold? Metallic. Love using this stuff. But I could have used my little marker too because it's so small. It really, you could just paint it with a marker too. I know it's weird to use my finger, but when you're just going to do such a tiny amount. Yes, gold was a good choice. And should we diamond dust them? I know they're small, but let's do three. Everything should be in three. There's my third one. If you guys have kids or grandkids that are into a particular movie, help them make one like Barbie. You know, Barbie is so popular right now. This is my little, uh, you know, shout out to Barbie, I guess. Um, but just have fun. And, and if you'll get them doing something they're into, then that definitely, of course, yeah, <laughs> that'll help them to love to do it. Okay. Oh, my nose is running from tearing for Andrea. I'm so happy. Um, 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 um. There it is. It's right in front of me. So, again, just a little bit of Mod Podge or whatever you use for Mod Podge. Let's put this on a piece of paper. So I can collect. Come back. 
back here. These fun to give away. Somebody would love to, you know, think of your elderly neighbors or elderly people in your church or community that really don't have a lot of things brightening their day. You know, lots of us do. We get out and we go do things, but they don't. So maybe bless some people like that with a few of these little creations. see it pretty good easy 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 and then you will want to sign it somewhere so that people know you did it or sign the back or you know just however you want to do it and that way you can trade like so we're going to trade these in my private group, and so somebody will get this one. Cute, cute. Y'all want to do another, or do y'all need to go? Let's see what time it is. See, it always takes me longer than I think. I was thinking this will just take me 30 minutes, but I end up playing too much, I guess. Y'all want to do another, or y'all need to go? Y'all let me know, because you're the ones probably on lunch breaks and needing to get back to work and back to doing things, but if you're available. I'll do one more. Do y'all have a theme? Do y'all have something you'd like to see? Like we could do a Santa. We could do, um, let's think. What else? I'm just thinking Christmas in July. We could do a cardinal on a tree. Okay, Cindy. Um, Cindy, you've got to trade with us in the group. My microphone's okay. Okay, let's do another one. I'm glad y'all are game. Um, I'll do this one a little different. So let's see what we have over in this little tub. Um, maybe I've already been through this. This is just tags. There's more tags. I have lots of these little tubs around me because I've been doing some of these. Let's do, yeah, let's do a cardinal in a tree or something like that. Now, when you're doing something small like this, this is a, a large print that will overtake our design. So if you're going to do a print, I, I would do something small. We might use this, maybe. I'm going to keep looking and see. This has just a lot of good ones in it. It's just packed and a great size for what we're doing. I'm also going to look and see if I have a hem over here. And I have book pages that I like to use. Let's just use a little bit of book page. I think I like that better. And maybe if I have a hem, I do. Uh, grab a hem, you know, I, oh look, go tell it on the mountain. I'm going to save that. So I'll grab some hem. I think I'm going to save this and not use this. I'm going to use those too. Okay, let's, let's get after it, guys. Glue stick again. Yeah, Marsha, I think that'll be good. Where did you get that book? Timu. I got this on Timu. If you have trouble finding it, just leave me a comment like I can't find it or something because I can go to my to my purchases and find the exact link because I've had trouble finding things I've purchased before like if I want to repurchase it um, maybe I didn't log in when I bought it so then I go back and can't find it and that's frustrating so if you can't find it easy I'll help you I'm just gonna cut some of this and 
have that there. Kind of overlap a little bit. Let's use some book page. Now, if you want to keep these scraps, you'll probably use them for another card, right? So, they have a wish. Oh, is that right, Sydney? I've never noticed that. Yeah, I know, Sherry. Because I end up putting a bunch of stuff in my cart, and then I'll go back and just delete it out. But, yeah, if you could just move it to a wish list is great. I've just never looked around, I guess, because I didn't see that. So again, you can file it off. You saw me cut it off. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it makes any difference personally, but this is just a, a good coarse nail file that I keep in here for this purpose. Has anybody started shopping? I've seen a couple of people say they have. Has anybody that's here today started Christmas shopping. I think it's super smart and as you see things going on sale or clearance right now because it's you know summer's over you might find you know like maybe they love a certain golf shirt go ahead and get it because you know how fast the seasons go so Sorry, I hate this sound. It's why I like to use scissors if I'm live. It's just an icky sound. What's that, Sherry? What have you not seen? Thank you, Mary. How are you today? Ocean Breeze and Me is in the house. Okay. Now I think that let, let's use some paint. You can also, uh, we could do both. Let me think if I, oh, and let's use this. This is so pretty. So these little doilies, you know, you get them in a pack and there are so many and just be careful because they, they really stick together. But then you can use these, break them apart and use them. And what I usually do is just kind of cut along, something like that. I'm glad I get to show y'all how I did this because I literally just kind of decided where I wanted it. If you want it kind of at an angle, you have to kind of blur your, your eyes to see how it would look at an angle. You can kind of do it on an edge like that. Just across any old way. I don't think it matters with what we're doing, so I'm just gonna get it on there, but I am gonna trim it, so I will cut kind of along so that I don't have these weird bits right there. Okay, take our Mod Podge. You try to shop all year. I think that's so smart. So smart. I don't, but I should. And I always say, you know, I think with for, for me, I mostly just buy for our kids and then Ron, but um, they change too much, you know. So something that they may really love right now, it'll be something else by the time December rolls around. So I don't do too much ahead. If I had grandkids, I think I would. Okay, so that's all you do is just get it down with some Mod Podge 
I had a little paint on my finger, so that's okay. We'll cover it up with something. And then when it dries, you can easily scrape it off or cut it off on the edge. I'm going to go for it. Just get it off. But that will give you texture. You can also use um, stencils. I'll do stencils a lot with some modeling paste or some type of medium like uh, gloss medium. And then when you put your stencil down and you tap that medium into it and then lift your stencil up carefully, you'll have these raised areas. The only reason I'm not going to do that today is then you have to let those dry before you paint them. And I don't want to mess with all that. Oh, y'all can't see my little... So anybody popping in will get to see this now. Um, so I'm just going to kind of keep going with what I'm doing. Uh, green paper. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so sometimes I will paint something on a canvas. And then I'll decide a year later I'm done with it. I don't even want to give it away. I don't like it. Or... Maybe I did something to it and poked it and had a hole in it, whatever. So I will cut the picture. So let's just say that it was this. I will take my X-Acto knife and cut the canvas off. So then you're left with that piece of canvas. And then you can cut it into strips and use. So that's what this was. This was a piece that I had. I'm going to use this now. See the back is canvas. I'm going to use this now and make my tree with it. Even though it's not quite green, it's going to be, it's going to work, you know, for a tree. Thank you. Isn't that true, Sherry? Oh, they do. So let's kind of get this down to size and start here at the top and just kind of I hope. Oh, that's a fat, kind of ugly tree. That's really a... Let's, let's fix this up a little. Of a big tree that is okay though we are gonna do things to it so if your tree shapes not perfect that's okay or you can use a little tracer to get it perfect um, well, another thing I like to do is take my paint palette so you guys know I use these paper paint palettes and I reuse them over and over I'll take one and find one that has some brown and use that for my tree trunk. So let's get a piece that's kind of interesting like this. It's not just one solid and then we'll use that as our tree trunk. Like so. Okay. So this is talking about using what you have, right? We're going to add some um, snow text onto the tree and then we need to do our cardinal. I gotta pin this, y'all. One second. My microphone keeps coming off, and I hope it's not the sound isn't weird. Y'all doing okay? Are you still here? We give our kids money that way they can use it. How they? I think that's honestly what they want. I really do think that most of us want money because <laughs> we always have something we want. Hi Sue. No, I'm glad you're here. Hi Cindy. Glad you're here too, live. Um. Sorry if I missed anything for the trunk. Yes, just, you know, get creative. Look around and see. Like, if you need something brown. Y'all, I have this paper, too. I got it at Timu. This is leather paper. It's super thin. It feels kind of like, I don't know, it feels like tissue. 
but isn't that pretty? So I had pulled that thinking I might use this for some mixed media. You could just use it in the background or whatever, I don't know. But that's sitting out. We definitely need a star for the top of our tree. Let's see what size I need. Maybe this one. Yep. And let's go ahead and just paint that while we're at it. Let me try this gold marker this time and see how this works on it. Easy peasy. So if you've got a gold marker, you don't even have to get out your paint. We'll definitely diamond dust that too. Um, and then let's just think about the cardinal. Do we want to paint it, cut it? We could paint it. I have an idea. Let's paint it and then cut it out. Let's paint it on this and then we'll cut it out. So let's draw it. I'll just draw it with my little micron. Maybe I should use a pencil in case I mess up. I'm going to have to think what shape, how the cardinal looks. Okay. So, have to have his tail come down. So something like this and that. okay, good enough. Good enough, right? Oh, you do have that leather paper? I think it'll be really cool uh, for a background. I mean, maybe we should just put a little on here for fun just to see it on. Um, it's pretty thin, but you could double it up or whatever. But I just thought it was cool. It's a really cool texture. I mean, it's just something different, right? So I'll probably use a brush and some Mod Podge. Let's just brush that on. Maybe I'm gonna give it a torn edge. I love that. Oh, look. So you can totally see the writing through it. That's really cool. Love that. Okay. Good, good choice. I bet you can print on that too, y'all. Easy to tear, of course it's thin. Is this making y'all wanna do some? Hope it is. Have that leather paper, yeah. Let's put a little bit of it at the top too, so that Love it. This kind of stuff, I'm telling you, if you're having problems or you're stressed out, um, if you will do some of these and especially in the mindset of I'm going to give these to elderly people or something, you know, give them away to people that it'll give them a, a, a bright spot in their day. It really will help you and help your mindset. Getting creative and doing creative things, especially for others, you know, when you're going to give it away. It really gets the focus off of us and our problems and I'm just putting out two different shades of red, Santa red, and I'll have to look and see what that other one is. Deep burgundy to paint our little cardinal. Got to have a tiny little brush. I 
I know Tara. <laughs> yes, Vicki. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I know you need a, you need a, what do you call it? Like a, a relaxing getaway, don't you? So many people are going through hard things and hurting and, and when you give away your art or things that you make, it really, really, truly blesses people. So don't be embarrassed. Don't think, oh, they won't want that. Yes, they will. And I'll tell you, especially elderly people, because like I said, they just don't get as many things. They don't go out. They don't spend money. They can't spend money. People kind of forget them. They don't think to do sweet things for them sometimes. So if you have a male person or a neighbor, maybe put a couple in your purse. And if you're out somewhere and you see an elderly person eating alone or, you know, you could say, I made some of these to give out. I'd love for you to have one. Can you imagine brightening somebody's day like that? And then just give these little featheries up here. It's pretty hard to do this small on such a tiny little surface. We'll use our Micron pen to kind of help us. He's got like a little afro going up there, but it is okay. I think once I dry him, he'll be okay. Beak, I don't know. You need a vacation? I know, you do. It's like, it doesn't even matter where, right? I feel that way too. Like, just anywhere that you can just go and kind of pray and clear your brain. Get a, a reset button. Like, now we can turn our computer off and turn it back on and everything's reset. Sometimes we need that. And I just always go to nature. It's too hot to be outside here, so we got to go somewhere where we can get out. Maybe a little yellow in there. Let's do a little yellow gold. Hi, Trisha. How are you today? Boy, his hair is really sticking out. I just really gave him a crazy hairdo. So I'm kind of try to bring this back around with this. We'll cut it out, y'all. So the beak won't be that big once I'm cutting it. Um, let's, let's just dry this for now. I'm going to put on a little tree. This is a canvas that I cut apart that I didn't want anymore. I would painted something on it that I didn't want anymore and it wasn't worthy of giving away so I just cut it. Now you can find cardinal stickers. You don't have to paint your own. You can use a scrapbook paper that has a cardinal on it, just whatever. These scissors really need to be sharpened because I have definitely used them for wire and other things, but I'm 
Now we can take our micron pen Hello lady, who is the designer that I just heard say, don't be afraid to give them out. You might not think they're much, but they will treasure and you, they will treasure them and you cut up your painting. <laughs> I did cut it. I didn't need it. Okay, so let's do a little eye and then we'll do a few little, you know, wispies up there. Give him a wing. He's got a big old belly, doesn't he? That's cute. That is just fine. Then I'm going to take a little toothpick. Sorry for the arm reaching, y'all. Got to get to the back. And a little white paint. Give him a little eye. And you can even give him a little highlights, too, if you want to. Just with that little toothpick because this is a tiny little guy. So just like that. Y'all see it? Thank you, Sue. Okay, now let's assemble. We've got our tree. Let's glue this on. Let me think what type of glue. You know, you can use anything. Stick fast, uh, hot glue, whatever. I'm going to use hot glue just because it's handy and it's turned on. Again, this was cut out of a canvas that I just didn't want any more painting. So cut it, you can cut it right off the canvas, right off the base, and cut it up and use it for other things. We're going to use our micron pen to kind of Give some scratches in here and around it. We're going to put some snow on it too. We had a little star. What did we do with the star? Did I, didn't I have a star, y'all? Yes, remember I used the gold marker on the star. Does anybody see it? We'll put that little cardinal in the tree. Oh, good, Sue, I'm glad. You're wearing a leopard print. You call it your Peggy Bundy shirt. <laughs> Mine has a little leopard print. Y'all see that? No Peggy Bundy. We're going to put some snow text. I really want to find that star. I'm not sure what I did. Do y'all see it? Star is unfinished card. Look at you. Perfect. Man, y'all have good eyes. What do they say? If it was a snake, it would have bit me. You don't either? <laughs> yeah, who is that? Uh, thank y'all. I love that y'all can see, you know, what's sitting right in front of me that I can't see. Let's glitter it. You can even cut out some Christmas ornaments to put on there. 
you know, if you want to put little round or you could paint some little, or you could use buttons, y'all. Buttons are always cute. I did use buttons on this one the other day. Just a dot of hot glue on that star. Definitely need a little color. Um, I'm going to use probably a mix of these two reds. Let's just kind of If you missed the beginning uh, of this tutorial, I said Chris Hunter is doing an ATC class. Um, I believe it's only $10, so it'd be a really good one to do if you're wanting to do much more of this. I do mine, this is pretty much the way I do mine mostly. I don't do all the things, so she will probably go great in depth. You haven't? Oh, Andrea, it's just complete miracle I'm so happy for you guys like literally every time I think of it I'm I've got tears in my eyes again oh, thanks Ann did you see this one I love the little um lights we put in his horns or antlers whatever you call it antlers okay what do we need to do we need snow let's get snow text do we want ornaments on it let's just talk about it I mean I think this one is a little different feel from the other one but you could add lights I don't know that it's the same feel but let's just take a look and see what we think we're not committing yet we're just taking a gander and seeing what we think anyway you're gonna have to blur your eyes cuz I just messed them up but if you can kind of imagine how they would be let me know if you like it or should we paint some on or cut some out? Let's take a look. Oh, I know, Andrea. I sure hope the doctors give God the glory, but even if they don't, we know that it was his choice to heal him, and I'm so grateful. So relieved for you. So, Pat, do you like the little lights? Y'all do some hearts if you like the lights. Let's just see. And if I don't see any, I'll know that's a no. Oh, I'm seeing them. Okay. Okie doke. I know. Wouldn't that be cute? They are just too tiny for that. But yes, that would be adorable. Okay, so let's just do a little, they said we prayed it away, and I believe, oh, wow. The doctor said that, Andrea? I need some on this other side, but I I don't want to cover our bird. So I'm thinking, should I take the bird up? And yes, let's do that. Careful, careful, careful. So we can get some on this other side. Oh, 
don't think it matters too much how we put them on do y'all i think it'll be cute regardless so let's just start draping You see it, those scissors are so not sharp anymore. Have y'all tried sharpening scissors with foil like some people say you can do? I wonder if that works. And then I'm gonna take this little red one that I have right here and put that here. It does? Oh, good. If you wanted to take the time to take the little strings off, you could and just have the lights with no strings, too. Cute. That would be a cute card just like that. But then we're going to add our cardinal back. Do y'all do have any special stories about cardinals? Because I have asked before, and it's amazing how some people have had really cool stories, like Kathy DiDomenico and others where they come and visit like daily after a loved one passes, and I just think that's so cool. And I have no doubt that God can do that to just bless somebody. Put him back in the tree. And then I think we should add a little snow. You can use a little brush when it's something tiny like this I like a brush because my fat finger will get it way too too much so just get a little bit if you don't have snow text you can make your own and I've done it with white paint white sand and a little white glue clear glue um, but there may be other recipes on Pinterest I'm not sure what other people use Let's just put a few dollops on our tree. Ladybugs, aw, Donna, I love that. I just don't see them here where we live, but there was one outside of my mom's hospice house. Um, we got to move her the last few days uh, to a beautiful little house, kind of like in the country-ish, right by our house. And, um, and there was lots of wildlife, you know, and so we, we did have a cardinal that, that was visiting and then came for the day, the day she passed and the day after. And I just, it, it's just so cool, you know, it just, it's a neat little sign. Is the Barbie alive? I did a fast video on Barbie, and I think I can I can probably upload one that is slow. Uh, if I still have it, I believe I do. And I actually would like to redo it because when I was using the Micron pen, um, I made her arm look like a monster foot. So I have been laughing to myself about it ever since. I didn't go back and fix it, but if you see, like I took that black pen and kind of started making marks, and I don't know why, because this one is so nice and delicate and feminine, and this one's like a gorilla foot, so I'd like to redo it, but yes, I have a video. For one week, a cardinal was in your backyard, then finally I received pictures of the couple placing a wreath on my, oh my goodness, Mary. 
Oh, Michelle, that is so great. Hold on. Your son-in-law just moved his mother to an... Okay. Oh, well, I think that is such a kind thing to do because, you know, um, we can, we can, when we can't take care of them in our home, you can move them to different places, but to find a place that's actually something they would enjoy and get to see nature, that's amazing. I, my family knows that, boy, if that day comes, I, please do that for me. I'm a nature person. I want to be outside all the time. And I'm going to add a lot of snow here at the bottom. And I want to cover my cute trunk though. So anyway, can y'all see the snow? What does it need, guys? Does it need something? Dragonflies, at first your husband said it was because we had a pool. Oh. Oh, oh, interesting. See, <laughs> oh, Marsha, Eagle, mm, bless you. I'm so sorry. That's so, so hard. Oh, wow, Angie, I love that. She didn't like birds. <laughs> well, she knows you do, right? Your great granddaughter or your granddaughters love Barbie. Oh my goodness, Cindy, let's make them some. We can redo it and make it even better because that one was just kind of a trial. Oh, that's great, Mary. I love that. So, how did they find you? Do y'all see anything this needs? And let's hang it. I just like hanging them. I don't know, it's just me. So let's put our little, like I said, I've got a crop dial, but this thing is for um, like leather making and stuff. So it works. Whatever you have will work. Look at all these. They're so fun and all so different. Uh, could do, let's just do the silver. Oh, I know, I know. I'm going to use this brown. So this, I discovered, I had got it, I've had this for a long time at Hobby Lobby. So I don't know if they still have it, covered wire. Somebody said that, that people use this for floral wire. But anyway, if you have something like this, this is also great to use to hang things like it, like this. So I'm just going to cut a piece off. And do it the same way where we curl it. Figure out about how much you want to stick through. And then curl this side. Oh, it would, Sherry. What a great idea. Oh, I love that idea. Yes, you could ask that on your page, you know, for, oh, I, I love that. I might do that. I think that is a great idea. Oh, I love that idea, Sherry. Okay, so there's that. And then if we want to embellish it a little bit with, you know, our ribbon, this is not going to be the right color. Let's see if we have any. That is more of a teal. Or we could just use, maybe we have a little brown. Oh, that's cute. I like that. You could even add in, like this is a piece of raffia or whatever, that kind of paper raffia. That gives it kind of a country Christmas feel, and I like that. So let's add that. I do like these to be thin, so you can cut it in half. Or it kind of overpowers the little wire. Do 
Mary, I made one of these for you. I don't remember. You're going to have to remind me. What was it? I'm fixing to... Cindy, if you're still on here, I'm fixing to give you something. I am an Amazon affiliate and so I will make a, I'll put a photo and then I'll tag the supplies that I used and I did that for that Barbie tag. So Cindy, if you want to go see what I used, it'll have all the products. And then I'm sure you've got them in your home. I'm sure you're not going to have to buy them, but it'll show you everything I used. Oh, thanks, Tina. It just comes from not having a lot, and so I've always used what I had to make things, and it has made me really creative, you know. I just look around and think, what could I use, and so. Oh, cute. And then just spread these out a little. I love the little tattered edges, do y'all? Some of y'all hung with me the whole time. Okay, there we go. We got these two done today. I've got a fast video on this one that's already uploaded. And then we did these, we did this the other day. This one I didn't do live, but as you can see, it's just a tag that I already had. And I put the hem back here. I put a little bit, this right here with the plaid is tissue paper and then a little scrapbook paper. This right here is a snippet roll. If you've never seen me do a snippet roll, they're really fun, really fun. And then um, buttons, and this gold is just from another tag that was already gold, so I cut that out with a little chiffon ribbon. And some snow with diamond dust. So all of these are super easy to do. I hope it inspired you. I hope you'll do some. I think I'm gonna do what Sherry suggested, and if you want to send me one, I'll send you one. So just private message me and I'll give you my address and then you give me yours and we'll swap. In the um, Art and Grace VIP group, we are swapping. Uh, we've got a little thing we're fixing to do in August. So we would love to have you all in there if you want to be in there. Just go to my website and follow the, the little page that says um, my private group or private membership or something. Thank y'all for being here. Oh, Rennie and Phyllis, y'all are so welcome. Thanks, Debbie and Sue. You've got, yes, wood tags work great. Yeah. Thanks, Cindy. Okay, guys, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Have a great afternoon and um, do one of these for somebody. Give them away. Give them to some elderly person and let us know if they loved it. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.